Good morning, everybody. Ams is here with me, and we are heading back to the Huckleberry, which is that cute tea shop you saw in our video from Brian's birthday yep. with his parents. But this time, Amber gets to go. Yay. And you said you haven't been there. I've never been there. And she loves tea, like absolutely loves it. So I don't know how we managed to never go here <laughs> in all the time that Amber was living out here in Colorado. Yeah. Although you were up in the boonies, so yeah. maybe that has something to do with that it. Could be it. But we're going to go enjoy some awesome tea together and some super scrumptious breakfast food. Yep. I have no idea what else we're doing today, but we're having an awesome time. <laughs> we're going to just take it one, one thing at a time. Yes. And I'm so excited to start using the gimbal stick thing, but I don't have it yet. I haven't gotten to even like dig into Open the box it, yeah. and figure it out because we were out with our other BFF, Sarah, last night yep. having an awesome time at Chili's. Yeah, it was really and there may have been some adult beverages involved. <laughs> so, oh, may have been, allegedly. Uh, it was a little fun, I <laughs> tell you. Well, somehow we got two free drinks. We got two, actually so, it was like a bottle. Yeah, service. she had <laughs> bottle service. She had an entire bottle of margarita for of free drinks. because yeah. it was the wrong flavor and then they ran out of Patron and couldn't make another one. Right. <laughs> and so then they wanted to buy her another drink, but it ended up being my second drink for free. Yeah. So, it was pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome. So, we had a really good time, but that really good time resulted in going straight to bed when we got home. Yeah, it so. was an exhausting day, but fun. <laughs> fun. Sure. I've had no time to play with my new technology, so <laughs> for now you still get the bounciness of us walking like normal. That's but okay. We're about to go enjoy this really super cute place, and it's going to be delicious. Yes. We're back in downtown Arvada again, going back to the knitting store yep. that should be open this time. Shot number two. <laughs> We've had an awesome breakfast. Oh yeah. And we stopped at one of her friend's houses and I got to meet her and we hung out for quite some time. Yep. Todd and Destiny. That was really fun. Shout out. <laughs> Just hit up the army surplus and now we're hopefully going to the knitting shop where we yep. both learned how to knit back in the day. Yeah. For you it's been like over five years ago, five and a half. Yeah, something like that. Getting close to five years ago for me. So. <laughs> yeah, it's a sad, sad day because yeah. next week they'll actually be closing. Closing so. their doors. So maybe very. We give our final goodbyes. Yes. And hopefully. Uh, and maybe there'll be a good sale going on. We're hoping, but got to say goodbye to the owner and stuff. She Jerry. was awesome. She's such a sweet lady. So. We're hoping it's open today. That'll be yeah, good. Let's hope. Because I guess the closing crossed. is happening in like a week. Yes, on the first. Wow. So we're gonna go see if if she's open today. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Coming up Let's on the, the, the yarn are shop. On, so my, they might be open. Oh no. Why are they closed? Mondays and Sundays are closed. Oh man, we cannot get the luck here. Yarns and needles, fifty percent off. Going out of business. Great bargains. Ah, oh, come on. Why are they closed on Mondays? No, no. Wow, you can look at how cleaned how out it already are. is. Wow. Oh, man. Wow. There's like no yarn in any of the shelves. There's some neat straight needles, magazines, and notions, but. Wow. Yeah. I see, I should have stopped by yesterday and actually checked. But yeah. 10 a.m. tomorrow, so if it doesn't, if it doesn't snow too bad. Her monkey's for sale. Oh, she's selling the giant sock monkey? Yeah. Oh, I love that sock monkey. I've always loved the sock monkey. Maybe I could buy her chandeliers. Cozy and cuddly. Because wasn't this actually hand knitted here? They machine knitted it. Oh, they did? Yeah, I remember when they made it. I would love to buy the sock monkey if I knew for sure that we were going to have boys someday. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't know what you want to do because Tuesday is probably going to be snowing. 
Do you want to play in the snow? <laughs> Lucy, come here. <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> what happened to you? I'm waiting for my mother-in-law to come pick me up right now. We're gonna head over and do the Starbucks thing for a little while and talk and catch up and do um, some coloring in our adult coloring books. <laughs> That's one of the things that I enjoy doing to relax is uh, coloring in these really cool adult coloring books that are such a big thing now. So if you haven't tried it, you definitely should because it's a lot of fun. Um, let's see, my video with my friend Amber ended pretty abruptly when we didn't get to go to our knitting shop on Monday. So we were planning to go back the next day, but we ended up getting hit with a ton of snow, which is now gone, but it was here for a few days. And um, we just kind of hibernated and stayed home. And we uh, ended up working on YouTube stuff, um, like me teaching her how to start her channel and make playlists and what to do with her videos and stuff because she wants to start the YouTube channel um, for her stained glass stuff. So we just did that and watched some TV and relaxed. It was a really good end of our trip together, um, of her visiting. So that was really, really nice. And then the same day that she left to go home, um, my other friend Sarah, who you've also seen in the videos, um, came over. It was her last day working for my grandma. Um, we were hoping that that situation was gonna last a lot longer because my grandma just loved working with her and Sarah was a really great caregiver, but my grandma actually has to go to assisted living at this point, um, see if she gets better enough to the point that she can realistically be at home, but I guess right now it's just not working. So um, Sarah's going home for a couple of weeks, so she came and spent her last day here with me and she's going home for like her sister's baby shower and a bunch of fun stuff. Hopefully she'll be back in a couple of weeks. So that's my update for right now and uh, there will be more soon. Mm -hmm. 